Hey guys, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. If you like what we're doing, uh, go ahead and press like. If you want to see other games, hit uh, subscribe. we got more to come. Alright, right now I'm back on the Nexus. I'm about to go search this jerkface William Spender's room so that uh, we can get him fired for like screwing over the Krogans. After that, we're going to be searching for the Turian Ark. So let's get to it. Apparently he's been he was handing off supplies to people on Kadara, some outlaws. All personnel, be aware of any suspicious activity. Nexus exiles find a home and as former security are implicated in the mutiny. An investigation revealed Nexus security has blown Kelly, played a role in the uprising, and then killed dozens. Initiative authorities tracked the exiles, including Kelly, to Kadara, a desert planet in the Gavorkum system. Initiative director Jaren Tan did not mince words when the exile port was made public. Kadara is dangerous. The exiles are dangerous. Stay away from Kadara. I cannot stress this enough. This These power is a shit no sense. Sam, anyone nearby? Negative, Pathfinder. The vicinity is clear of all personnel. Good. There is a blank spot in your vicinity, Pathfinder. What do you mean? I cannot see part of the room, for lack of a better term. Director Tan. I'm writing to request an official review of Nakmor Kesh's suitability as Nexus Superintendent. The Krogan indeed helped suppress the mutiny by those we know dubbed exiles. However, given the Krogan's conduct during the uprising and their decision to lead the Nexus after their request for more authority were denied, it is not hard to see Kesh's current position as a conflict of interest. I understand it may be politically beneficial to keep a Krogan on staff for optics, if not diplomacy. For one of them to hold the power of superintendent gives their brethren's negative opinion of us as frankly playing with fire. It is my opinion as an experienced public servant that Kesh should be placed in a role where she can do less damage, perhaps in charge of archives. Sincerely, William Spender, Assistant Director of Colony Affairs. Yeah, this guy's a dick. New Tuchanka, location Elodin, estimated population 700 plus, about 1200 Krogan came to Andromeda, key people, Neck, Mor, Morta, Leader, Jorgal, Strux, Potential, Agitator, Neck, Mor, Drac, Initiative, Freelancer, Grandfather of Neck, Mor, Kesh. The colony is thriving by Krogan standards, they are strong they're storing water and have enough to be self-sufficient. You have time for entertainment. There is a fighting pit, a distillery, even a greenhouse where they appear to be growing plants in an attempt to sustain the colony long term. This is spearheaded by a botanist named Vorn. The Krogan built their colony into the side of a sinkhole. Some construction materials were apparently taken from the Nexus. Other materials are locally sourced. The compound is heavily guarded and it is difficult to get in unless you are a Krogan. Okay. Advice for aspiring community leader. To Sal Taylor. To Sal Taylor from William Spender. Sal, I appreciate you taking the time to reach out to me. 
I have always, I'm always happy to give advice to junior colonists interested in a future in politics. My advice is my father's. Just before I shipped off to Andrana, he said, always help the little guy, but also help anyone with their boot on that little guy's neck. Jeez. To get to where I am, you have to try to please everyone. This one sure you'll always be right with somebody. Jeez. Air filters from Nakmore Kesh. To William Spender from Nakmore Kesh. Spender. Del Jason told me you denied her request for properly functioning air filters. Do you realize how important it is to keep our staff healthy and working? I can't understand. I can't understand why you wouldn't try to block this. It's getting to the point where I need to talk to Addison about your conduct. I'm sorry, but this is getting ridiculous. Cash. Re, re air filters to William Spender from Foster Addison. Bill, come see me. We need to talk. Re paper trail to undisclosed recipient from William Spender. A. For someone so paranoid, it's funny that you title your name Paper Trail and sign it with your own name. Why not just evidence? Of course I've held on to proof of our agreement. You're an exile, aren't you? I need some leverage for when you finally decide to turn on me. No one's finding anything. I doubt anyone even cares to look. S. The data pad is password locked. Shall I run a decryption? Yes. Seems worth the risk. Do it. Accessing audio logs. Play the first one. Tan is starting to get along with Vetra's replacement a little too well. Better do something about it. Play the second one. Remind Addison that the Krogan all left. Keep her unhappy. Play the third one. Stay away from what's-his-face in charge of the first colony. If he thought I was messing with Addison, he could be serious trouble. Thanks, Dan. Well, really, he just, like, uh, records his business down on the ground? What is that noise? Meeting notes for Director Tan. Engineering has requested resources we don't have yet again. In particular, repairs to non-essential systems. I'm having doubts in Kesh's ability to prioritize tasks appropriately. Yeah, this guy is just like straight up sabotaging people. Interference is preventing yeah. scanner function. You will need to rely on more basic means to search these quarters. Supply ready for shipment. Ration crates, maps, toy, pistol, toy pistols, servoy, camera, battery cells. Oh, 2,000 credits, huh? Someone's getting paid. Rebreather components, power cells, dried food. Scanning the labels, many of these boxes were reported missing. Perhaps you should look under or behind the furnishings, Pathfinder. What do we have here? What do we have here? Cash, I'm not sure what we can do here. We've got the system stabilized for now, but we're going to need to reroute power soon. We could lose some stasis pods if we don't. What do we have here? Oh, okay. 
What's this? I cannot scan what you're holding, Pathfinder. It's somehow blocking me, as a scrambler might. Sounds like a job for a comms expert. Where will you find one of those? Alright, let's look for this comms officer. So this guy Spander is bad news. He's endangering people. He's paying himself off. Can't have this guy in charge of anybody. Pathfinder, what can I do for you? All right, dude, just play along. I'm about to ask something, and I need you to just smile and look casual. Smiling and looking casual. Check. I found this thing somewhere on station. I need to know what it does exactly. Sure, I can... Wait. This is a scrambler unit. These things are illegal. Where did you get this? Not telling yet. Keeping it quiet for now. You'll find out when the time is right. Or when I hack this scrambler for you, eh? Can you prove who's been using it? Solid proof. You bet. You could hack through every security wall we have of this thing. There's a reason they're illegal? Sorry, smiling, casual. Let me know when you're done. Yes, sir. Pathfinder, you have new email. All right, we're going to go talk to Drac on the ship. Yep, well, before we do, we're gonna check out the weapons. Ah, hey there. Really, that's it. Oh man, the Nexus is the worst when it comes to finding good stuff to buy. I need to go find Drac. Said he wants to talk to you. I'll talk to him. You have new email. Uh, Drac's usually in here. Ryder, I need your help with something. What's going on? Okay, out with it. You've clearly got something on your mind. 
One of our botanists' heart called up in a panic. A colony transport has been stolen. It's a transport. Can't you just replace it? It's not the transport. It's what's on it. Our seed vault. One of a kind. Without that vault, things get complicated. Krogan children need the nutrients in those plants to survive. Even one clutch of babies hatch before we get the stuff synthesized. The effects would be permanent. So what do you need from me? I'm gonna find those thieves and get the vault back. Be nice to have you along. How'd they get the transport? Aren't the transports protected by passcodes? And how do you steal anything from a Krogan? First thing hard checked. Looks like some old authorization codes weren't erased. He was working in the transport and stepped out for two seconds. The thieves walked right in and flew off. We'll get the transport back. Of course I'm in. Whatever you need. I knew I could count on you. Hark's waiting for us at the colony on Elodin. He's tracking down the transport beacon. He'll have the location ready for us on arrival. Good. We'll find the transport track. Don't worry. I'll hold you to that, Ryder. Hey. Thanks. I owe you one. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. You're good for it. Okay, Sam, what's up with this email? You never know, like. I thought about our talk after Lucy. Lucy got some inspiration. Come and chat next time. We're both on the ship, Cora. Another interview. Saying you just got back from Kadara Port. Alright, I'm gonna have to talk to Cora later. So the whole spender thing seems a little uh, anticlimactic. Uh, all right, so this is what we're gonna do. We are going to talk to Liam because I got I got his uh, thing for him, and then we're gonna talk to Cora since she needs to talk to me. I just feel better if the Tempest had a main gun. Home's not built for it. The recoil will blow out all our fancy windows. Kinetic barriers to handle space debris, the stealth drive, and us. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Need to talk? <laughs> Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But they can't steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Jar. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all. Can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Maybe it was how you asked. Are you sure it wasn't how you phrased the question? Your talk with Jaw was indelicate. They said as much back on the force. Another thing I left behind. 
I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? Of course I did. One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family worked on it together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. <laughs> it's very cool. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. Doesn't have to mean anything. We do what we do. It doesn't always have to make sense. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <sighs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Tempest, movie night. All right, Liam. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It um felt really good. Glad I could help. Anything I can do for my team. Stuff like that goes above and beyond Pathfinder. At least I hope so. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship. Like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. That's what I'm trying to do. I got a copy of the Nexus's movie library. Thanks. I'll look through it. It's probably all agricultural learning vids, but there might be something good. I'll keep you posted. Alright, sweet. Alright, Cora. What do you got for me? Got a minute? I could use a favor. Sure. You only have to ask. I kept thinking about Sarissa and my not being a pathfinder. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? What kind of project? I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you.
looks like we gotta go to Elodin. Alright, since we're here, we're gonna talk to everybody on the ship. Gonna make this a short video. I need to like connect with the crew just a little bit. Hello, Ryder. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? I'm just here to listen, Joe. Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... numb. I'm... in awe. There's a peace in knowing that... though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a hidden destiny. Your destiny is yours. Does it matter? Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardin. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds, all these advanced tools, and there is nothing the Ket can do about it. The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. <laughs> Great time to be alive. For the Angara? Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or it exists as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing except ourselves. And that's everything. Talk to Callow and, and Gil and Sudi. What's up, Callow? Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil, I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same. Believe me. Okay. What up, Suvi? The Nexus science team is completely blown away by what you found in the Remnant City. It's a tremendous find, Ryder. The team asked me to pass on their thanks. My pleasure to serve. Tell them they're welcome. I, as Pathfinder, was happy to serve. You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? You'll rely on faith? If you want to keep believing in a higher power who isn't just an advanced species, you'll find a way. You haven't had proof of a God before now. Why would this change that? Your faith will bridge the gaps. Uh-huh. You're saying I'll find some way to convince or dilute myself? Not really. No, I wasn't really saying that. Ryder, don't be silly. Even if you didn't mean it, you were. That's what faith is. And I'm okay with that. I want to believe in something bigger than I am. So I will. Strangely, that makes me feel better about the whole thing. 
Alright, let's talk to PB. Who is not here? Okay, where's PB at? I don't think I've been talking to her all that much. Suvi, Kalo, Drac, Liam, Ventra, Cora, PB and Gil, alright. Needed to talk to both of them anyway. Whoever built what up, the guys? Remnant created the Angara. So were the remnant intended to serve them? That's a great question. Too bad we don't have someone on the team who's an expert in solving remnant mysteries. Yeah. Ryder ought to enlist someone like that right away. I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? Well, we know is very little. That there's so much we don't know. It's humbling. Well, I came here for mysteries, right? Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? I don't know anything about the Tempest crew. How are you getting along with the team? I'm keeping it light and pleasant. Even Lexi isn't exactly what I'd expected. And Jal... I'm learning what makes him tick. We're lucky to have an Angara with us. Asari can mate with all Milky Way species. I find myself wondering if that transcends galactic boundaries. I'm certainly not looking to reproduce anytime soon, but he seems like a good guy. What do you think? Seems like a good guy. You should trust your instincts. Thanks, Ryder. <laughs> what's your thoughts on Meridian? So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Right, how's your current project going? You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. All right, what's up with the Nexus? What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. That ex-friend I mentioned, my accomplice, she finagled my early thaw, so I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. Yeah, Thanks for chatting. To it. We'll talk again later. You know it. Long time no chat. <laughs> what's up? Yeah, what's up with you and Callow? Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Callow? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, I don't yet. It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <laughs> Heck. Maybe that goes both ways. Right. Did our tank so on the Archon's it. ship leave the Tempest in decent shape? More than decent. Stealth drive worked like a charm, then bat out a hell drive kicked in without a hiccup. I see no reason to detail the shit storm of lightning quick band-aids I had to apply at the time. All that matters is she met the challenge, and now I know exactly how to keep her fresh and frosty. So, win-win. Alright, what was it like on the Nexus? Nice to see other Arcs docked at the Nexus, huh? Bringing the Asari and Solarians back into the fold is long overdue. I get the sense people on the Nexus are really starting to believe. We've sure come far. Alright, man. Talk Good to you later. talking to you, Gil. Anytime. We need to talk about Sam. 
Dr. Tapero does not approve of how we escaped the cat containment field on the Archon's flagship. Uh -oh. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. Hey, it worked. Relax, Doc. It turned out okay. Dying, even temporarily, is never okay. Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. I trust him. Sam would never hurt me. Thank you, Ryder. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. Okay. I'll do my best to stop dying. All right. I'll find a new party trick. Have Gil teach you three card Monty or something. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that. Even if you don't have cells to prove it. Talk to everybody on the ship. We know exactly where we're going next, which is Elodin. But that's gonna be for a different time. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for right now. I'll talk to you guys later. See you around the galaxy. Peace.